Well, here's the update on the simple ignition system for uh, the hit and miss engine I'm building. Uh, credit, first of all, to um, all the people on home uh, model engineering machinists, and particularly uh, Blue Jets, who pointed me in the right direction and uh, provided the schematic which I based uh, this version on. Uh, first of all, tried it uh, as per the schematic uh, on a breadboard, which to, to prove the concept. Uh, it was okay, but there are some fairly high currents from the power transistor, and it was pretty unreliable. Um, you know, it's asking quite a lot to put that amount of current through the tiny wires and a breadboard. So the, the the next progression was to build the circuit again, but this time do it on some perf board with proper connections and plugs, uh, which you can see me doing here. Uh, I never find I, I'm not I don't do a lot of electronics, uh, so this is all sort of I find it quite hard work trying to work out, especially working backwards on perf board. But uh, surprisingly, uh, it worked at the first attempt, and uh, it, it, again, it, it was a, a step in the right direction, but I felt that it, it could be better still. And there were a couple of problems. One was that the uh, LED, which is used for timing, uh, kept dying, uh, which is the one you can see flashing next to the connector there. And eventually I traced this down to um, a spike in a back EMF coming from the uh, uh, the coil, which was, was killing it. So that, that was something that you're changing. Here you can see that the, it, you know, it's working well, a decent spark, um, and it was all quite encouraging. So the, the plan now was to do something a bit more permanent. And I'd heard about um, a, a free bit of software um, which is this here, which is uh, Easy EDA, uh, which is a PCB design software. And here you can see the schematic I drew. And the additions that I've made to the circuit is a, uh, the diode to protect the LED and a resistor uh, to the base of the uh, power transistor just to encourage it to behave. Because uh, uh, again, I was finding some problems there. Uh, the next stage uh, is to turn the schematic into a circuit board design. And I mean, there are plenty of tutorials on YouTube to tell you how to do this, but you know, here's the basics is you drag all the components on, arrange them, work out the tracks, decide how thick you want the tracks to be. And when you're happy that everything's in the right place, uh, you can then turn it into a circuit board. Uh, there's various tools. I mean, this is uh, how the finished circuit board will look when it's printed and, and machined. There's a 3D view so you can see how the finished product is going to look once it's populated with the components. Uh, in this example it's only putting in the components that are actually in the software's library so all the, the, the resistors and various other bits and pieces are not shown but you, you, there's a facility on, within the software and on the website to order the finished circuit board uh, which I did, and it arrived uh, within a week, uh, which is astonishing, particularly given that it was over the holiday period. Here it is with the uh, components in it. The uh, diode that I mentioned is actually uh, here. It's hidden under the heat shrink tubing, which goes up to the LED, and thus far the LEDs have all survived, so that's clearly working. Uh, heat sinks, not necessary, I found, on the, output, on the power transistor, at low RPM, I would guess probably at higher RPM it might be a bit more of an issue. And here it is on test, of which there's been several hours and it's been absolutely fine. Thanks for watching. I hope you found it interesting. If there's anything else I can tell you, uh, just leave a comment below and I'll do my best to answer it. Have fun.